Scott Anger, and welcome to your 10th Blender tutorial part 2. In this tutorial we will be finishing up the texture for the barrel we created in the previous tutorial. So let's open up GIMP and you guys are probably getting used to being using GIMP for this stuff. So let's also open up our file directory where all of our game tutorial stuff is. And assets. I actually want to change this. What happened? Okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh no. Hanger. We're missing a file here. Let's open this up. Tab. Okay. Okay, so something happened here. Okay. Let's grab that. Grab. Okay, so I'm going to have to re export this Y, X. X. There's that. G, Y. Okay, now UVs, export UV layout. I'm going to save it in this folder just so I can find it. Barrel.png, export UV layout. Okay, just to make sure it's in there. There it is. I don't know what happened between yesterday and today, but it just disappeared. And rename this. Rename barrel. And now what we're going to want to do is just close Blender for now. Actually, no. Control S to save it. Uh, Control S. Save. Now we can close it. Now let's just drag the barrel over there. Okay. And as you can see, we have our barrel. And our, we have the top and we have the bottom. And I already have two textures that I found on cgtextures.com. So I'm going to go over to my uh, textures area, and I create a folder for it. Here's the side view, which I'm just going to grab and drag that over to there. And I'm going to actually scale that down a little bit. Or, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Scale. And to a uh, reasonable scale, and I'm gonna move it down so that it's it's not the right one. There we go. Let's scale that down again so I can see. This time I'll be able to see what I'm scaling to. Scale. Then I'll use the grab tool and align it so it's correct. Use the scale tool to make sure it's fits correctly into the area like so okay just scale it and now I have the top part right there and you guys are probably getting used to doing these things and just put that there and scale that way down uh, scale like Okay, so you're going to have to scale down. Scale. And that looks just about right, so we'll actually bring 
this background all the way to the top so we can see where everything is lined up. And I grab this with our grab tool and drag it so it fits right under there. Okay, so we need to make it a little bit bigger. Use the scale tool. No, cancel. Go into barrels, this one right here. I would imagine that would be. No, we need to go smaller. Scale. And there we go, that's right. So we use the grab tool. No. Yeah. Uh, use this. And just place it right under there. It seems that that's not quite a perfect circle, but okay. Alright, so now just to finish everything off, we just want to go into the background, and take the fill, and just paint the background black. Okay, now I'm going to finish by clicking on the or clicking file and save as or no no save as save and it's a merge visible layers and make sure it says that and then export now if we close the GIMP we don't need GIMP anymore we're gonna go just check that it's over there And there's our background, okay. I have to change something I did there. But, okay. Let's just go into Blender. What you want to do is after you've done that, you want to merge it down. The, the background, you're going to want to merge that down. So it's below the other things. You don't get the lines, the ugly, ugly lines. I'm just going to uh, open go over here and over there up with the blender file and tab and image open image and just open the bar barrel PNG and everything's done correctly except for that which I don't know why that keeps doing that Oh, gosh dang it. Grab. Just bring it right on down there. And then, just control save. Yes. And just go over to textures and world new clouds. Or change the type to image removey open blender.png open image and then oh keep forgetting I have to do that you have to add a material first you click new image open barrel new image coordinate UV and if we go over here and go into object mode and change to textured, we now have our little barrel. And if we go into T, we can change to smoothing or smooth, and everything looks quite like a barrel actually, minus those lines which I accidentally left in there. All right. Well, I think if you want to go back and correct that, you guys saw how to do this, and all you have to do is redo that. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I think actually, save your thing, Control S, and save, and you can close that now. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you guys uh, 
enjoy these tutorials, please leave comments or anything. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.